Lesson 2H, Polytonic Ions Poly means many. Atomic refers to atoms. Ions are atoms that are charged due to a difference in protons and electrons. So polyatomic ions are ions composed of more than one atom. Na2O is a binary ionic compound. It is comprised of only two types of elements, the sodium metal and the oxygen nonmetal. Li2CO3 is not binary. It is ternary. It has more than two types of atoms in it. There is the metal lithium with a charge of plus one, and there's CO3, which is a negative two charged ion that is composed of, in this case, two types of atoms, carbon and oxygen. The polyatomic ion is pretty easy to identify when you read the compound's name, since it usually ends in ite or ate, like chlorite and chlorate, and nitrite and nitrate. Be careful of the two polyatomics that end in ide, cyanide and hydroxide. You don't want to confuse these with binary ionic compounds, which always end in ide. So as you can see from the list of polyatomics from your data booklet, most of them are negatively charged with only ammonium NH4 on our list as a positive ion. Writing formulas with polyatomics from the formula names. Write the metal ion and the polyatomic ion. Crisscross as you do with binary ionic compounds. Use brackets around the polyatomic if you need more than one of the polyatomic group. For example, lithium carbonate. Lithium ion plus one and carbonate polyatomic ion minus two. Crisscross and we get Li2 bracket CO3 bracket one. Since we only need one polyatomic group, we can erase the brackets and the one. It becomes Li2 CO3. Strontium chlorate. Sr plus two ion and ClO3 negative one ion. The crisscross is to make Sr bracket ClO3 bracket two. In this case, the bracket stays because it reminds us that we need two of the entire group of ClO3. Barium hydrogen carbonate. This is a tricky one since the hydrogen carbonate has a second accepted name of bicarbonate. That's Ba2 plus and HCO3 negative one. Crisscrossing, we end up having Ba bracket HCO3 bracket two. Again, the bracket is required since we need two of the hydrogen carbonate polyatomic ion. In our last example, copper one nitrate it has copper positive one ion and NO3 negative one ion. Crisscrossing, we get CuNO3. No brackets are needed since we only need one of the polyatomic group, NO3. Naming ternary ionic compounds is very similar to naming binary ionic compounds. The steps are first write the name of the metal, then the name of the polyatomic ion. Use your list of polyatomic ions to determine the polyatomic ion's name. The big difference here is not to change the ending to ide. If the metal is multivalent, then you must use Roman numerals to identify which metal ion is being used in the compound. Let's look at some examples. Ba bracket OH bracket 2. First the metal, then the polyatomic. Barium hydroxide. Barium is an alkaline metal and only has a charge of plus 2, so Roman numerals are not required. NH4 F. NH4 is one of the rare positive polyatomic ions. It's called ammonium. This is ammonium fluoride. And again, no Roman numeral is required, since ammonium is always plus one. Fe bracket NO3 bracket two. This is iron nitrate. However, iron is multivalent. It has more than one iron charge. We will reverse the crisscross and iron becomes plus two and nitrate becomes negative one. Looking at our table, nitrate does indeed have a negative one charge. So iron does have the plus two charge. That makes this iron two nitrate. SNSO4. There is no brackets around the SO4 because there is only one set of SO4. However, if you like, you can add them. This makes SN bracket SO4 bracket 1. Reversing the crisscross, we get SN with a plus 1 charge and sulfate gets a minus 1 charge. Looking at sulfate on your table, you will note that it does not have a charge of minus 1, rather, it has a charge of negative 2. It's been reduced. If sulfate is supposed to be negative 2, that means tin must have been a positive 2 charge and was reduced as well to one. The name of the compound is tin 2 sulfate. Ag2CrO4 also does not have brackets around the CrO4, but we can understand it's because there's only one of the polyatomic ion. Reversing the crisscross, we have silver plus one and chromate with a negative two. When you refer to your table, you'll see that chromate does indeed have a negative two charge. So the metal charge is also correct. In this case, it really didn't matter since silver only has a single charge is not multivalent. Its name is simply silver chromate. No Roman numeral is required.